Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the effect of changing the pressure on a reversible reaction at equilibrium. And this is for higher tier students only. In the last couple of videos we've looked at what happens to reversible reactions at equilibrium when we change the conditions. We saw that if a system is at equilibrium and a change is made to the conditions, then the system responds to counteract the change, and we call this Le Chatelier's principle. In this video, we're going to look at the effects of pressure on reversible reactions. Now, the first key fact is that pressure affects reactions involving gases. I'm showing you here two gases. These are at the same temperature and in the same volume container. As you can see, the container on the right has twice the number of molecules as the container on the left. This brings us to the second key fact. The pressure of a gas depends on the number of molecules. So that means that the gas on the right will have twice the pressure as the gas on the left. Now, the pressure of a gas does depend on other factors, but in this video we're just focusing on the number of molecules. Take a look at this reaction. We've got nitrogen reacting with hydrogen to make the chemical ammonia. And as you can see, this is a reversible reaction. If we look at the large numbers, we can see the number of molecules in this reaction. On the left hand side, we've got one molecule of nitrogen and three molecules of hydrogen. In other words, we've got four molecules in total on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we've got two molecules of ammonia. So how does pressure affect reactions like this? You need to learn these rules. If we increase the pressure on a reversible reaction at equilibrium, the position of the equilibrium shifts to the side with a smaller number of molecules. And if we reduce the pressure, then the position of the equilibrium shifts to the side with a larger number of molecules. So if we increase the pressure on this reaction, then the equilibrium will shift to the right hand side. That's because the right hand side has fewer molecules than the left. And if we reduce the pressure on this reaction, then the equilibrium will shift to the left hand side. And again, that's because the left hand side has more molecules than the right. I'm showing you another reaction here. In this case, the chemicals iodine and hydrogen are reacting to form hydrogen iodide. And again, this is a reversible reaction. If we look at the number of molecules, we can see that we've got two molecules on the left hand side and two molecules on the right hand side. Now, because the number of molecules is the same on both sides, changing pressure has no effect on the position of equilibrium. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on reversible reactions in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.